Hello everyone, my name is Paige McBriar and I am the author of The Chicken and the Worm. And when I was learning about chickens and compost worms, I thought that compost worms were just the most amazing creatures and I decided that I would start my own compost bin. So I'm going to share that with you now. This is my compost bin. Um, it's a Rubbermaid bin and uh, to make my bin I had to put holes in it for the, for the worms to be able to breathe on the top and the sides. Okay, so this is the bin and inside, if you look inside, you'll see my worms. Well, you won't see my worms yet because they're hiding. They don't like sunlight. So they live under these strips of newspaper. And I'm just going to move that aside for a second so you can see. They're in here. And worms like to, they like to stay close to the surface. So you can see some of the food that they're eating here. And these are my worms here. When they get frightened, they turn yellow like this one. Worms have a head and a tail, and if you hold them on your finger for long enough, you can see which end is the head, because that's the way they're going, the way they're leading. This is the head on this one. This is the head on this one. In the middle, I don't know if you can see it on these worms, there's a center part. It's like a little belt in the center, and that's where their insides are. So, they're right in the middle, the insides. See them wandering around now? Worms have no eyes, no ears. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my worm bin over and then I'm going to take the castings out and leave the worms, put the worms back inside. You ready? Oh, boom. Now when I lift this up, you're going to see all the worms right there. So, I emptied everything out and now I'm just adding a little bit of peat moss back in here for them to have. But the rest of it is just going to be what they're producing. So, a little peat moss in there. The worms don't like sunlight so they dive down to the very bottom of the plastic mat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this beautiful rich compost and I'm going to put it in this bucket and when it's full or when I've got it all in there I'm going to put it all over my garden to feed my plants. So this is all just worm compost and what I'm doing now is just if I see a worm, I'm going to put it back into the bin where I've added peat moss. All right, so we'll take this last little bit. Here are my worm castings. They're ready to go. It was a wonderful amount that I got this year, and I can't wait to put them in my garden. <laughs>